sends. Josh Holly Armo and Ted Cruz R. Texas are at a moment of reckoning for their firm alliances with President Trump, facing widespread condemnation at home and in Washington, D.C. in the aftermath of a brutal assault on the U.S. Capitol for their efforts to overturn the election. 37%. That's the share of voters who said they blame Cruz for the attack in a morning consult Politico poll of 1,986 registered released Friday. That's more than the 27% who blame Holly and 30% who blame Democrats in Congress, but far fewer than the 52% who blame Republicans in Congress and 63% who blame Trump. Among Republicans, only 21% blame Cruz and 14% blame Holly. Joe Biden, the bipartisan friendmaker who, much to the chagrin of many in his party, has stood firm in his plans to work across the aisle despite Republicans' persistent efforts to overturn his victory, delivered perhaps the most brutal attack against Holly and Cruz on Friday. Calling them, part of the big lie, Biden compared the two senators to Nazi propagandist Joseph Goebbels and said they should get, flat beaten, next time they run for office. Holly and Cruz have refused to resign and shot back at their critics. Holly called Biden's Goebbels comparison, utterly shameful, and threatened legal action against Simon & Schuster for cancelling his book. Cruz has denied allegations he fundraised during the attack, claiming he instructed his team to halt fundraising emails and texts within, minutes, despite a text time stamped over two hours after the attack began, accused Biden of, vicious partisan rhetoric, and repeatedly claimed his objection was not aimed at overturning the election. An anonymous person who was in one of the secure rooms where lawmakers were led during the Capitol attack told the Wall Street Journal that Holly was ostracized by colleagues during the lockdown. For most of the time, he was in a corner of the room by himself with no one talking to him or acknowledging him, they said, calling the site, extremely striking. Many critics allege the objections were clearly and cynically designed as stepping stones for 2024 presidential bids. Everyone can see through, and look, understand they're running for president, former Senator Bob Corker, R10, told Politico, adding that they did it to be, popular with the base. Senator Bob Casey vowed, if either become the 2024 Republican nominee, to spend, a lot of time making sure the people of Pennsylvania don't forget, their objections. It is highly unlikely Cruz or Holly will resign or be forced out, but their political prospects both within and outside the Senate appeared to have dimmed. In addition to alienating possible donors, one anonymous Republican senator told Politico the caucus would, face a reckoning over Holly and Cruz.